keep my shield and he in whom I trust. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. This is Precision Fire and today I want to do a quick video on just an unboxing of this Vortex Razor HD, HD Generation 2 that I just received in the mail. I'm excited to do a quick review on this, um, but today I'm just going to unbox it just to see what it looks like. This will be my first first focal plane rifle scope. I've always been second focal plane. This will be the first time I'll be using first focal plane. The Night Force Beast was a little expensive for me. I don't want to spend that much just on a single scope. But um, mainly I wanted to get the Vortex. I want to compare it with my ATAC R and see if see what the differences were. Because there is about a thousand dollar price difference. Actually a little more. This was on sale with Optics Planet. I had the Father's Day 15% off coupon. So this came to 2300 which is not too bad for this. So I also have a Schmidt and Bender PM2 coming in in August and I'm excited to make a video of that in comparison to this and to my Night Force ATEC. And just just to see, uh, you know, with the Schmidt and Bender is going to be uh, yeah, that one's uh, about a twelve, fourteen hundred dollars more than this. So we'll see how this holds up to that. Uh, but that won't be till August. Uh, they're made to order, so it'll be a while. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So let me uh, make sure I got that full frame. We'll get a close up of this. And I just wanted to see what's in the box here. Lens cloth. This is rifle scope manual. So this is just the diagrams, how to use the turrets, the locking mechanisms, blah blah. That's cool. Got a Team Vortex sticker. This is an inspection certificate. Also, uh, the customer service on these is pretty much you know, outstanding. You know, of course they are competing with the best, so I'm sure they want to make up for a lot of their uh, product in comparison by get, providing great customer service. It's a reticle manual. This is just basically out of zero and all that. So just to let you know, this is a four 4.5 by 27 by 56. So this is one of the longer range scopes, which I was looking for. So this will be uh, exciting. We got a battery, got an Allen wrench. This is an illuminated scope. It's our tube extension. That's cool that it does come with these, that you don't have to purchase it like you do with Night Force. And we got a little wrench, a little handy tool, comes with a Phillips side as well as an Allen side. Probably a softer metal to prevent scratching. And finally, let's take a look at our scope here. Oh wow, that thing, I don't know if you can see that close enough. I'll do a close up on this. This thing is, this thing is huge. The turrets are very wide and my first impression is this scope is very heavy. This is a lot heavier than the Night Force. <clears throat> Great color. I do like the color, but man, this is one heavy scope there. I'll have to get the exact spe specs on um, on the weights of these. Take the covers off. Oh wow, that is some clear glass. Okay, you feel the turrets here. I know these are locking and I think you pull these up. Yep. They are very tight turrets. Very clean clicks. 
Hmm. Can't wait to do the review with the Night Force just to get a comparison. <clears throat> So I actually uh, had to change my lens just so we can um, get a close-up view. So I put, went ahead and put a pancake lens. So these turrets, you actually pull them up. If I can do it with one hand. So you can see when you push them down they're locked, pull it up and then you're free to turn. And as you can see they are very clean. Oh wow, so this is, I believe this is our illumination. I don't know where our battery goes. It could be on the side here, but I'm not entirely sure. Everything about the, so with the Vortex, they have very clean turrets. And also they have very good customer service. Wow. Let's try this. Is there windage? Same thing. So you just pull them out. Very clean clicks there. There's our objective lens. Let's see, we're already at max. We're at 4.5. We're not at max. And there's 27. All right. So this is with the Night Force a210 night force rings the six screw they are the a210s so basically <clears throat> 34 millimeter 1.125 inch so as you can see there's plenty of clearance here so i could actually i think i'm going to return those and get the one inch rings there's plenty of clearance uh, one inch rings is only going to take, see, it's not going to be a, it's going to be a, it's about two eighths of an inch off. So that's going to be a half of that spacing there. So I think, uh, I don't think we need this high of rings anyway. So if you are going to buy rings, these are the Night Force A210 1.125. These are high rings. So we'll be doing, um, I believe one inch, if I remember right, is the lowest that these ultra Night Force ultralights can go. And these are the rings there. They are black, so they are off color, but I didn't mount these. I just kind of set it on there to see what it looks like. Anyway, well, thanks for watching my video. I'm excited to do a review on this, so watch out for that. And I'll be going ahead and I'll be putting uh, this stock on, and I don't think this stock's gonna have any effect on the rings there. So that'll be exciting to put this together. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like my video and leave some feedback. I do appreciate it. All right, you have a nice day and we'll see you next time.